Hi, my name is Hatem Akel. I'm uh, an application engineer with Ozen Engineering. This is a small tutorial about doing Monte Carlo in HFSS, 3D layout, or Q3D, or even IcePack. When you want to do Monte Carlo, you have to start with a model that's parameterized. So if I click uh, this differential strip line structure, you will find lots of parameters that we use to modify the shape and the structure of the strip line. So we have W1, which is the width of the lines, and S1, which is the spacing between them, and S2 is the gap between the RF lines and uh, the side grounds. So if I want to do a uh, Monte Carlo, what you need to do first is you want to go to HFSS, uh, Design Properties, and there are two ways, whether we use sensitivity or statistical. Uh, for today, we're going to use the statistical one. So I can select W1, S1, and S2. And uh, the system, uh, you can modify these parameters uh, that will give you uh, the capability to change uh, how much can they change. And within this range, um, the system will select random numbers and will solve the problem. And when you solve the problem, of course, you get uh, a set of data that as we're gonna see very soon. So apply, go okay. Then you come to here and you say um, in the optometric, add a statistical analysis. You can go back to edit variable. You can go to design, making sure that um, parameters, so I forgot to add S2, uh, they, are, they are okay, they are as, as you specify them. Then what you do here, you add a setup of calculations. Calculations simply you you tell the system which parameter you are so much concerned about uh, that you would like to to see the result. Now it doesn't mean that the the problem uh, HFSS will not solve the whole thing over uh, a range of frequency, but it will do a statistical analysis on this parameter. Add calculation, which is in, in this case I selected um, I selected the uh, S11 and you specify the frequency so you have to specify these numbers here you can only specify one number and this only helps for doing the uh, for doing the statistical analysis but it doesn't affect your Monte Carlo analysis you will you will see all the curves you will be able to display the curves of all the cases that were solved so I place uh, OK so now I specify the parameter I specify the frequency you need to do that in order to be able to uh, to do statistical analysis so I do have a statistical setup now ready to solve so I'm gonna just press uh, analyze so we finished uh, solving the problem now we can look at the results so if I go to results and I want to display the curves let's say for example I want to display uh, the return loss if you click here if you select to plot the return loss you see that's gonna plot all the different cases that were solved in, in, in this problem we have like 50 different solutions and these are all the different possibilities so this is this is what what we call the Monte Carlo kind of uh, uh, solution now since we did statistical analysis let's look at what do we get out of it so if you go and you say a statistical setup and you do view analysis results this is what you're gonna get uh, so uh, the system will solve for s11 at this frequency and it will display how many times how many times the results were between this range and this range and between this range and this range uh, so as you can see um, it's some sort of a statistical uh, solution um, Here's the profile, it gives you more information about the, the different numbers in details. What is the value of W1, a start and the stop uh, for all the cases that were solved. Uh, so, so now if you go to statistical setup, you can add more. Like so in our case, we selected only one case, which is S11 at frequency equals 5 gig, but you can set up more, you can add more. And also the number of iterations, instead of 50, you can add like 100 or 200. Do more more stuff I think you can go variables these are just to remind you with the variables you can modify the tolerance and the mean and the cutoff probability you can you can modify these numbers you can have a distribution instead of uniform you can have it Gaussian uh, log normal user-defined 
so you can see uh, you have so many uh, probabilities and so many um, uh, options um, you have also set fixed variables so what happened is that you can go to other variables that are not part of the analysis and you can override the numbers uh, that they have from the beginning you can override they can change them to something else uh, for one of the analysis you want to do thank you i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the video